There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. But in order to live a better quality of life, there are some things, hallelujah, Jesus, that you, 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 you must just, just give up. You must free yourself from it, all right? And freedom is only through the Christ and surrendering to the Holy Spirit. All right. So, so don't give up. Don't give in. It's just surrender to say, you know, God, to take this layer of crap, take this off of me. I don't want it anymore. You know, truly surrender seriously, sincerely surrender. And allow the Holy Spirit no more striving. <laughs> this is our baby's last week of school. And to keep in our tradition, we're late. <laughs> we're picking them up. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> we got to keep the tradition alive. <laughs> and in doing so, faith was inspired to where by the time the service was coming to an end, people were being healed all over Hi. the room. Not having had anybody late. Look at this. Look at that. Put us in the trash. Have a good dance practice. Love you. Y'all have a good practice. Edgy, what's all that stuff? You're not taking that stuff with you. This practice is still on today, despite of the rain. Oil. God wants the virgins in these last days to carry the oil. Because this oil, this anointing, I just causes the. Joshua off at practice. Pickup time eight o'clock. Girls pickup time eight thirty. So, what do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> we were gifted with an inner and outer anointing. The inner anointing deal with stuff like our character. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. The patience that we have. Um, our anger control, you know, anything dealing with our character and um, actions. The outer anointing is geared towards, you know, ministry, ministry. stuff like uh, giftings and callings. So that's what the outer anointing is for. But when it comes to that inner anointing, to truly activate that inner anointing, you have to have the Word of God. The Word of God activates that inner anointing. All right? The Word of God builds upon that inner anointing, guys. All right? The Word of God promotes and builds the fruit of the Spirit. All right? So we, we have to come to... A maturing of not just praying and asking and and pouting and oh, whining and asking for stuff we have to come to some type of maturing when it comes to our prayer life and and commune and talk to God on a serious note All right and when I say this we you have to take responsibility right now of where you are in your walk in Christ and your walk in life all right if you don't seriously take ownership and get real with yourself you're going to keep repeating the same stuff over and over and over again you're going to keep falling for the same addiction pornography and lust and things of the world if you don't seriously just stop and ask God for guidance and help in that area, then you're going to keep repeating that circle over and over again. And the only way, honestly, to, to truly get deliverance from that area, you have to have the knowledge of the Word of God. It's the Word of God is what's going to give you the freedom that you need from that cycle that you're stuck in. It's easy to say, yeah, oh, bless, um, uh-huh, I'll open my Bible today. I, I, I read a little bit. Yeah, bless, hallelujah, Jesus, I showed up for Sunday service. 
It's, it's easy to say that, yes. But did you really dig down in deep in that word? Look up definitions. Get a greater understanding. Ask the Holy Spirit to, to help you understand it and apply it. Help you how to apply that word in your life. Oh, yeah. It's easy to just say, oh, yeah, my Bible app. Hallelujah, Jesus. I read my one scripture that popped up in my Bible app today. So I'm good. No, you're not good. You have to sit with the word. You have to be attentive with the word. The anointing inside of you is struggling. You need to feed it. It's starving. We don't need another revival. Your revival is sitting there on your desk, in your bookshelf. Open it up. God speaks through his word. God delivers through his word. The knowledge you need is in the word. Whatever you're facing right now. You don't have to suffer. That's all I'm saying is you don't have to suffer. You was gifted with so much. But though you... Open the gift. Open it. Open it. I had to cut the cameras off. <laughs> I got a little emotional. Reason why I got woof, a, a teeny bit emotional is because I care. I care about the well-being of... <sighs> You're not stuck. Nope. <laughs> and, and and there's liberation and freedom through through Jesus Christ. There is. Alright. And <sighs> just know that um <laughs> Whatever you may be facing, whatever you may be going through right now, you have a God that's so big, so strong, so patient, so loving that <laughs> this too shall pass. This pit that you're in, <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. And you know something? Somebody, people's not going to tell you this. <laughs> God can use you in the pit. God can use you when you're going through. All right? So, all is not lost. <laughs> this season will pass. All right? God loves you very, very much. But you got to understand that you got to know that there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus but in order to live a better quality of life there are some things hallelujah Jesus that you you you, you must just just give up you must free yourself from it all right and freedom it's only through Christ and surrendering to the Holy Spirit. All right? So, so don't give up. Don't give in. It's just surrender to say, you know, God, to take this layer of crap. Take this off of me. I don't want it anymore. You know, truly surrender. Seriously. Sincerely surrender. And allow the Holy Spirit no more striving. Oh, I gotta do this. This is confusion. Like, 
Lord, I, I surrender my life. I surrender my soul. I surrender my will. I surrender my children, my relationship. I surrender, Lord God, this addiction. I surrender, Lord God, this fortification. I surrender, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever you're facing, surrender it to God. <laughs> All right? Take your hands off of it. It's not gonna, the healing by your ability, not gonna happen. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. It's just not. But you're gonna be all right. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Hang in there.